Guys, we have a very, we're recording right now. We have a very special guest that is a surprise for Jamie. He's joining us because there have been text messages. Wow, really? Like, talk about manifestation. <laughs> I just <laughs> texted you this. Well, yeah. once you did that, that's when we set it up. That's when Chasm set it up. Well, what, oh what, what did you text us today, Jamie? So I was on Instagram today and uh, I texted you guys that Perry got really active on Perry Caravello. I should of course, specify. there's only one Perry. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like Madonna. You just say Perry. Right. You just say got Perry. really active on my Instagram. And like, mm -hmm. you know, when like somebody just goes to your page and then comments on like your last five pictures. So it was one of Jack golfing. You wrote cute a cute picture of me, like from this magazine shoot. And he wrote you and I comma will have one fun all caps weekend. Then a picture of where I cut all my hair off. And he said, no, dot, 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 grow it back. He knows uh, what he likes. Yeah. So he, we went he, did, he came after us and, um, even sent us a message at our pajama pants, uh, Instagram inbox. Right, you sent he, me that too. He says, Jamie, I need to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, and let me tell you this. So I, <laughs> I, after hearing Jamie say this, randomly, Tom, who is his manager, and by the way, anybody who doesn't know Perry, he's a, we and Cass were a big fan of his. We he's had him the on fourth the pod. host of the show. Yeah, we had him on the pod recently, and yeah. uh, what Tom sent us was a message, or sent me, was a message from Perry to him that said, hey, find out from Robert if Jamie Lynn Sigler... <laughs> <laughs> full full three name. If Jamie Lynn Sigler is still a married woman, because if not, I would like to invite her to my 40th anniversary high school reunion in Palm oh. Springs, California. Oh my. Wow. Oh, yeah. His 40th reunion. Jesus Christ. I didn't know I they know. did him after 20. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, that's incredible. I, I feel um, that there's like, you know, quite an opportunity for us to kind of address these uh, questions that Perry has because we actually are bringing Perry on the show. I didn't know that. Jamie just had her 40th uh, anniversary of being born. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And, and I don't have my wedding ring on right now because I was making hamburgers, but mm. it's just that I didn't put it back on. Mm. I am still married. Well, Let's just He's wait. Let's re let's reevaluate after we talk to Perry. Is Perry okay. around? Let's see if that ring comes back on. Okay, so wait, Jamie. Here's the thing. Tom said, make sure Jamie comps him on his facial hair. I just because said. he hates it. He's he oh. hates it, but he's being paid to not shave. <laughs> By who? By his fans. Yeah. And he's... he hates it. Oh my God. So we could get paid by our fans to do stupid shit. Oh. Yeah, I bet That's you. What is get that on Patreon? Is that how do you get that done? Wait, what'd you say, Cass? Oh, I, I, I'm just saying Jamie would probably get paid more than than either oh, of us to. Yeah. yeah, I think. Come on, I want to do my garage. Only me fans. Would, what do you need for me to do? Pay for my garage. Me and Cass would have about three people paying us, and Jamie would have about three thousand people paying her. Great. What do I got to do? Well, I mean, just if you just wanted to show your feet alone, I'm sure you could get the whole garage. If you wanted a complete house really? remodel, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. I'll show there's my a lot feet. of options. Uh -huh. Jamie, let me tell you this. On Barstool Sports, the some of the girls on there have been making OnlyFans accounts. They're making $60,000 a month. And what they're doing is they're saying it's just an extension of their Instagram. And so let's say on Instagram, once a week, they show a bikini picture. On there, they're showing maybe two or three bikini pictures a day. So they go home. They take two or three bikini pictures. No, no nipple, no vagina, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Show them, make sixty thousand a month. That's right. The top Insta uh, OnlyFans girls are making millions, uh, million like a million dollars a month. No vagina, no nip. Well, depends. If you're Black China, you're showing vagina. If you're, I know, willing, but I'm not. No, right, you're. Not. That was that was a hot freestyle. Yeah, if you're really willing, if you're willing to say, hey guys, you know those outfits I wore on the Maxim covers? I still mm -hmm. got them. And your girl's gonna throw them on. It's nineteen ninety nine a month. Come take a peek, Jamie. You're making. You might make a hundred thousand dollars in a month. So no one could like download those photos and share them anywhere. Is that how OnlyFans works? They can. They can. However, there are why is measures you for can it? take. You can take measures to 
take those uh, images down. Usually what happens is when a woman uh, posts an OnlyFans photo is that photo gets posted to like Reddit right away. However, um, if you've got the right systems in place, you can have those copywritten images taken down. Um, and so there are things you can do to help prevent it. But ultimately, once work. it's out there, it's out there. Too much just, work. Just, just so together. then what are fucking people paying for? Why don't they all pull it together and have one guy pay and they'll rip the photo? I'll tell you, Jamie, they're paying for the relationship that they have with you. Oh, our boy. You like one on one, right? Our boy right here is on OnlyFans and pays. He ask pays him. or people ask, pay him. Ask him why he's doing it. Who, me? Yeah. Um, speak of the devil, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, saved by Perry, Perry Caravello, our fourth host, the fourth host of Pajama Pants. Wow. He's here live on Zoom. The, the king. I like the, the facial hair. Hey, guy. I, I, Jamie. You look great, Perry. You don't like the facial hair. You're just saying you like the facial hair. No. Nope. It's disgusting. I it's hate it. It's a genuine I can't comment. stand it. I can't stand why? it. I hate it. I hate this disgusting feeling on my face. Oh. It's ugly as sin. Ugh. Perry, you look distinguished. Yes. You look nice. And and I got to tell you, this is, uh, I haven't seen you in a while. You're a completely new man. And and this man before me here is, Ugh. is this is a better version. Um, no, Perry, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for, that was disgusting. Perry, thank you for coming on the show. We want to do, welcome. um, ask you about some of the uh, messages that we've re received from you. Um, Jamie's obviously uh, noticed that you've kind of been all over her Instagram feed, like yes. and, and messaging. And it seems that in our inbox here, and that she's you not answering to me back. <laughs> well, look, she we isn't away. I usually don't engage on Instagram. That's okay. True. Well, privately you can sweetheart. Okay. He wasn't sure if it was really you, true, so we mm -hmm. said we said we'll prove it and we'll get him. By the way, if you keep growing that out, I think come December you got a job. At no, any wrong. September fifteenth, no? it's shaved. Was that Go a on. Hitler Goodbye. movie you just did? No, yeah, it looked like a, a I, wave to the. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to do like a hit, like a Hitler thing. I don't know, Perry. You know, I'm just. I'm. I'm. Perry. September fifteenth, we're done. Why? I Hitler. can't stand the way this shit feels. I was Who's paid, paying you to have? I was paid to have this on, roll this up for two months, and I'm getting rid of it. Some fan. So you know talk to like. me about OnlyFans. Talk to me. Where? How do you come up with your prices? Mm -hmm. How much are you engaging? How many fans do you have? Explain. I I, I got my start in this uh, in this uh, Perry Caravello live on OnlyFans. Oh, okay. yeah. that's where I started streaming. Okay, sure. And, and then it went to Twitch. And it was only for right. my fans. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Tom and I had a conversation that he said the OnlyFans is a... <clears throat> so we got rid of OnlyFans and we stayed on Twitch and YouTube. So people pay you on Twitch? Twitch and YouTube, yes. How do they pay you on Twitch? Like people pay you to have that... Twitch comments. Uh -huh. Twitch um, comments? Oh, Twitch itself will pay you for views. Not Twitch itself. Fans... Fans pay me on Twitch. Yeah. People donate. Um, they can donate. Yeah, they exactly. can subscribe. To keep you, to keep you putting content. Correct. Yes. Exactly. Um, Perry. So, but what if I am like, what if I put out content for like a month and get like so much money and then I'm like, peace. And that's your that business. Right. Honey, Jamie Dearest, you would be making a ton of dough on on uh on Twitch and YouTube and OnlyFans. Yeah. What do I have to do? And, and just OnlyFans. Just just get an OnlyFans account. <laughs> That's all. There but is. like, what do I have to do on the account? If you were paying for Jamie's OnlyFans, what would you want to see? Yeah, I'd want to see her pictures. I'd like to see her uh, content. Can I ask you this, Perry? Like, let's I'd just like to be able to tear, talk to let, her. Let's get a price I'd list like for Jamie. Privacy. I'd like to have a privacy page for her. Perry, are you? Can you hear me, me, Perry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let me you. finish talking, and then then I'll let you. Talk. <laughs> Perry, we we have we have a show. It's an hour long. If we I'm just sorry. let you talk, and it's okay. First of all, I wanted to ask you about these messages. You you said you need to talk to Jamie. It seemed important, and I wanted to bring you on. Rob and I wanted to bring you yes. on, yes, so you can talk to Jamie and, and figure out what it is it is that you need to figure out. She's here, right in front of you, Perry. What do you want here. to say to her? Well, I'm going to open up by saying Jamie came on my stream and opened up by saying she wanted to take me to my high school. 40th and 40th anniversary reunion get together class of 82. I said that Jamie. Didn't you say that? 
So now there's a smile. You came on my stream. She's playing coy. And you, and you asked I... me. You asked me. When was this? I was Perry? Originally, yeah. When was this? I was, a couple of weeks ago. No, I was originally. Mean. I was originally going to take Gina or Scarlett Johansson. But then Gina I had a Carano. falling out with Gina Carano. Right. And I had we also all did. falling out with Scarlett. So <clears throat> screw it with screw it with those two. Yeah. Screw it with those two. I don't want to deal with Third those choice. Two. Here she is. I didn't ask you this. You didn't ask I wasn't me on, I wasn't on Are you on sure, Jamie? Stream. Well, because where were you two yeah. weeks ago, Jamie? And like I you would have to prove that you I mean, weren't Jamie, in I stream. thought you wanted me to take you to my high school reunion. I thought you were gonna fly in LA and and hang out with me for like a four day weekend. No, you four would have day. to. You would have <laughs> Friday, to Friday, Saturday, Denver. Sunday, and Monday, and then you know, wow, whatever. Yeah, for the pre parties and the spend a weekend together. And all that. Mm -hmm. A four nope. day weekend wasn't me. If that wasn't you, Jamie, then how? Who would that be? Who An would imposter? be in his chat? Well, what do you mean? Oh, no, right. Jamie, Jamie. It said her no, name, no, right, no. Perry? In your no. chat, it said you're playing Jamie games Sigler. with me now. No. I don't even have a Twitch. <laughs> on my I don't stream, know what Twitch is. on my stream a couple weeks ago, you came on and nope. you invited yourself. No, Listen. Jamie, let him finish. Jamie, no, <laughs> you sent in a comment. You you asked me to take you with me to my 40th anniversary class of '82 high school reunion. No, and then that you were talking sex talk. No, definitely not. Perry, what'd she say? What it was sounds like her. I don't even remember what she was saying, but well, anyway. what are the sorts of things no. that, you, that you remember her saying, Perry? She was basically saying she wanted to get in bed with me. Wow. Okay, she's got her hand up, which means she wants to say something, so go for it. Go ahead, Jamie. Perry, Perry, no, it if, means I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss. Perry, if she got in bed with you, do you have a separate your bed? Is that in the separate room for her to get in, or where's your bed? We'd be getting we'd be getting a hotel over at the the, the same place where they're having the reunion. But just just to be clear, if she wanted to stay longer, your actual bed is located about six. My actual feet bed to the right, is right, right here, just what 20, 30 feet away from me. To the in right of room? the mannequin. What? To the right of the mannequin is where your bed to, is. To the right of where my arm where my arm is pointing is where my bed is. Yeah. What do you think of that, James? I think my husband would be upset. That's what I was going to ask. Are you married? Is there yep. Okay. Where's your I'm, wedding ring, Jamie? I was making hamburgers, so I took my jewelry. Oh. Out. Why How would convenient. you ask? Why would you ask me to go? Yeah. Why, why would you ask me to attend my high school reunion? When you're a married woman. It wasn't me. Liar. No, I'm not. Liar. I you're have, a you can, liar. I have never, I don't even know how to get on Twitch, Perry. Oh, stop. She knows how to do it, Perry. You've yeah. been on more, more times than I could imagine. No. You don't even know how to get Let, on Twitch. I, I, I could tell you right now, Jamie's been one of my best friends for 25 years. I don't believe you, Jamie. Wow. I believe okay. Perry. See? Okay. Look, yeah, I'm with, you're, I stand with you're... Barry. <gasps> Time out. Traitors. Jamie. Yeah. Jamie, your what? Soprano's brother right there, Anthony Soprano, better known as Robert Eiler, doesn't right. believe you. And I believe exactly what he's saying. You are You put messing some weird me. spell over them when you're around. No, no, no. They <laughs> know what's right. <laughs> Perry, Perry, I could tell you why. Jamie's told us about a certain uh, personality she has called Jambian, which is when she <laughs> oh, takes yeah. Am when Jamie takes Ambien, she becomes Jambian, and mm. she does things that she doesn't remember. They're not really like her. I have not, okay, th I have there it not, is. You're on. You're on. There it is. Yeah, but I haven't touched. I haven't touched that stuff. Well, you in don't years. remember that you've you're touched it because you were on Jambian. It's you, she's on Ambien, which she called, which you guys call Jambian because it messes with your no, mind. No, 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 no. Mm. Excuse me. Well, this Excuse is. That's... I think we Gross. got to the bottom of it. That's a great call, Rob and uh, Perry. We're sorry Rob, that she she Robert, can't recall. Robert Eiler, my brother, man. Thank yeah. you for making that comment. Thank you. Uh, you're my boy, Perry. I'm a. I, I miss you, man. I'm. I'm. I'm just grateful for you to be here. I, you seem very thirsty. All right. He's hydrating. He's yeah, drinking you're, you're water like you, Rob. You got to drink you're water, Rob. You got to drink water. 
Um, right. We haven't seen Perry in a in a few months on the pod. There looks like there's some new additions to um, your Bunch apartment. Of shit behind me. Uh, do, Jamie, do you the- have any questions about what's going on back there behind Who's Perry? Who's paying or? you to have the cone head? Nobody. I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. The giraffe. Why is there a shirtless I man stabbed, behind I you? I stabbed Bozo behind me. With, you see that? With this knife. Oh. Threw it away. It like a pen. No, it's 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 just a it's an exacto it's an exacto oh, oh, yeah, knife for like atrial scale stuff. He's a bad um, boy, Jamie. He's a you never know when he's gonna um, just get violent. And, and, and then all of a sudden, I opened up my door one day, or, or no, we were we were I believe we were streaming, we were streaming, and all of a sudden, I heard a knock on my door. I looked outside and I didn't see anything, and then I opened up my door and there's a freaking boat right there. And, oh and yeah, Bozo, that boat's the been there since the last clown. time we talked. To no, him. not this. Not this. No, this is the new boat. Oh, because see, on this boat, whoa, on this boat, you will see it There's say a fully nude it man. Say, SS Caravello Part Two, property of Perry Caravello Live. Perry, wow. can I just can I ask you why you have a fully nude male mannequin behind you? And why you haven't clothed him? Some or... some weirdo fan sent me the man again, whose face is on it, and then paid me to keep it for a month. Keep it nude. Who's, whose face is on it? Just a regular face. That's a mannequin face. No, uh, it's they, not. You know, that's a Jamie, picture. Jamie, uh, last time you were on the podcast, she was kind of telling me like. You know, I don't believe a lot of the stuff Perry's saying. He seems like a liar. And I was saying, I trust. Why would Perry. I lie? Why? Well, if, you, if you'd listen for one second, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm I sorry. said I, I, I absolutely believe everything Perry says. And I, and, but now I got to say, like you said on the pod, you guaranteed us that that raft would be gone within a month or two months. And that was over six months ago. So and I'm starting to think Jamie Wright might be right about what she was saying. It stayed way too long. And I uh-huh. gave it away to somebody. Look, Perry, you've lost the two Sopranos kids. Looks like I'm the only one on the your team. Were, I know I wasn't on the mad Sopranos. That it, that, but it, that it was gone, and uh, they sent me another one. I'm look, Perry. I'm I'm on your side of this whole thing. I I want to support you. you. Thank yeah. You, yes. Right. No. Are those problem. unopened packages over there to the right of you? These, yeah. Do you do unboxing videos? I do mailbag on my stream. Mm. Can you tell me? So I've Jamie? never seen it. I, I got a full. I got a. I got a. Jamie, you've seen the stream. She's no. seen, you were on the stream two weeks Don't ago. Don't play really? games with me, sweetheart. Don't. I've got a full mailbag full of mail. She okay? knows. She knows, Perry. That's usually what goes in a mailbag. It's a, she's on I'm, drugs, Perry. She she's doesn't smiling remember. because she's about ready to start laughing at me. No, I don't. Only Alejandro Rojas, I laugh at. That's right. It's uh, <laughs> oh, wow. look, Perry. Jamie's here. She obviously doesn't remember the the invitation to to go to your fortieth uh, anniversary. What else? I mean, before you go, what else do you want to say to Jamie? Go or not? If she's a married woman, I will not allow her to come. I'm very married. Then no, I don't want you to come. Sorry. Any, any last words, Having Perry? A great time. I mean, it would be it would be fun. I would say that it would be fun. What would no you guys but again, do? You're a married woman, so right out of the question, Perry. Can you des- could you describe what that night would be like, or what Jamie's going to be potentially missing out on um, your your fourth well, reunion? Like like any other freaking reunion, a dinner party, uh, yeah. seeing seeing all my uh, classmates that are still alive at the reunion. Cause I know That's there was nice. a lot of them that passed the, in the past decade from the wow. tenure yeah. or not tenure from the 30th reunion. Perry, you know what I, I hear think, that? You know what I think is happening? Honestly, I think, you know, Jamie's admitted this before. She likes a guy with a little bit of money. And I think when she was thro- showing interest mm. in you, she had heard through the grapevine that you had some money coming your way, some land coming your way. And apparently, I think she might have heard what happened and how you got scammed out of that. And now she's realizing. Oh, my God. Another thing to, for- to blame on your brother, Perry. Can Look, you tell us what happened there? That's my brother. That's my oldest brother. OK, he he made me um, he made me and my mom uh, more or less buy this piece of land. It was like an acre piece of dirt out in some part of Arizona. I'm going to say Bidibidashkosh, Arizona, meaning meaning who the hell knows where. 
Okay. Right. And and he and then he sells it for 85 grand or eighty seven thousand dollars. And and then he starts bragging to me on and then he starts bragging to me that oh I made all this money on your land. And then he's not gonna pay me a penny for the sale. And now he's got his own stream called Kenny Caravello Live. Basically, wow. what is he? What is he They're going to make a stealing. movie about this one day. Then, then what is he doing? He's basically stealing my stream to call it his stream. So, oh my God, Jamie, have you ever talked to Kenny? Have you ever watched Kenny Caravello? I think that might be the only stream that I've ever watched. Oh my God! What? What that the fuck be- are you doing to me? It wasn't why against the, why you. The fuck it you has want, nothing to do with you. He's an entirely different person. This That's my fucking oldest brother. He's an asshole. I didn't know that till now. Brooke. Hmm. He ripped me off. Sorry. But he's got land. Yeah, he's a land. He's owner. got land. Yeah, my land. Ugh, wow. If only you his had the land, land, Perry. His land that I bought, okay? Yeah, his land is your land. It wasn't made for you and me. Wow. Jesus. Well, Perry, look, I'm I'm sorry we couldn't come to some sort Jamie, of Jamie, I'm the original PCL. You watched KCL, which mm-hmm. sucks. Mm, right. He's got no talent. He's not an entertainer or an actor or a comedian. Uh, you're talking to the entertainer, actor, comedian. He yeah. doesn't skateboard, he doesn't snowboard. He doesn't he all he does is motorcycle ride and get into accidents. Oh, that's if you were cool. gonna if you were gonna damn, that's yeah. <laughs> If that's every girl's dream, Jay, uh, Perry, if you were going to take Jamie to dinner, where would you take her? Rainbow, um, Spago's, Spago's. Oh, uh, God, there's tons of places. And tons then places. after after dinner, what would the plan be? You think, Perry, what where would you go? Deb, either to the movies or back here to my place uh-huh. or, to, or to another hotel room. I don't know. Would you be would you be in separate rooms or sharing? Sharing separate rooms. Give me a break. Yeah, bathroom and bedroom. Right. That's a a separate room. Perry's a real man. (sighs) You're missing out. I don't know what the fuck you're doing watching my brother's stream. That that pisses me off. Perry, I'm sorry about that. I'll I'll have that conversation with her offline. I'm really sorry that you had to hear that. Gas and Robert, you better not be uh, going on to Kenny Carabello live. No, I would never. You could, you could, you could, you could, you could be uh, foolish and yeah. take a look at it for a few minutes, but then get off of it. Right. All right, Jamie, All right. any last words? To, uh, Rob, any last words to Perry uh, before Just he, thanks for he coming. leaves us? You've rendered me speechless yet again. Thanks for coming on, Perry. <laughs> it means a lot to us. We are to talk privately, sweetheart, and I demand to hear from you when this this entire stream tonight is over with. Wow. Please. Okay. You got okay. it. We'll make sure call she me, reaches okay. out. Call me back when you're done with, with your with your stream. Okay. You got it, okay. Perry. Perry, she's, where can we find you, Perry, Perry? She's pretty much always free and she stays up really late. So she'll she'll hit you up somewhere. Okay. Thank Perry, you. what where can we find you? What's your Twitch? Twitch, Perry Perry underscore Caravello underscore live at twitch.com. Great. And, and you're as live well as, as well as YouTube, the same yeah. way Perry underscore Caravello underscore live at YouTube.com. Okay. Thank you so much, Perry. You are, uh, or, or, yep. or just Perry Caravello on YouTube. Oh, wow. So many options. And thank you, Tom. And for I'm also on Cameo. On. Oh, he's on Cameo. Okay. What, what's a typical, uh, Cameo you charge and what's the price you charging for a Cameo these days, Perry? Uh, 50 bucks, you know, birthday wishes, anniversary wishes. Okay. Uh, you're raising your eyebrows like, wow, that's just, no, 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 no. That's actually a deal. I was, I thought you were going to charge a hundred. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. I agree. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Perry, I was and, told. Uh, yep. Forgive me for interrupting. Uh, no, no, I was told okay, that I was one of the best on cameo. So by and, I, and I was surprised by hearing that. Who told by, you by that? a cameo rep. Oh, Some okay. cameo rep made that remark. I have, I guess, I have the record for the longest cameo in history. How long was that? Oh, forty minutes. Good. Forty minutes long. <laughs> wow. Forty minutes. That's like a pajama pants episode. Yeah. Geez. Well, that's incredible. Uh, a, a record holder, streamer, actor, skateboarder, snowboarder, Perry Caravello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Perry, for coming on the show. And Can I we ask love one you. favor before I go, please? Please. Sure. Anything. 
do not ever have my brother Kenny as a guest on your on your uh, podcast. Well, we yeah. weren't gonna, but sure, because he's trying Amy... to destroy uh, Perry Curvel alive, and I don't want that to happen. Won't happen. I'll make you Thank a deal you. as long as Jamie. He's trying to do everything that I do, and he's not even. He never made a movie. As long as Jamie doesn't start dating him, we would never have him on. That no. would really I, piss me no. off. Well, yeah, that would be wrong. He's, he's, got he's land, shorter but... than Jamie. Harry, you've got dibs. You're first in line once this marriage of hers falls apart. You're you're up next. So swing that bat, baby. Get ready. Uh, I I I'm gonna say I hope to God she's not married. I I I I, I don't believe it, but I hope to God she's not married anymore. He answers prayers. I mean, I mean, I I've seen what I saw on her page with her husband and her and her child Jack, but mm. I'm one thinking, wait a second. Um, one of them meaning meaning what? You've got more I than one kids. child. She's had okay, two. Okay, yeah. Jack is the only one that I saw on your stream, Brian. Your on your page. My reunion is uh, in, Excuse me. My reunion isn't in. <clears throat> excuse me again. Your excuse. That's good. That's that's right where October. Jamie's gonna sleep. That's perfect. Blue, blue. <laughs> yeah, right on the floor. Thanks. My reunion is this coming October. Mm. I know what you said. I know exactly yeah. what you said. Cass and Robert both heard it as well as my That's boss. Right. They didn't hear anything. That's right. Yeah, they heard that heard you it. asked yourself to my 40th anniversary reunion. That's true. Okay. If you are available, which is a 50 50 shot. Yeah. Um, 50, 50, you should probably go around asking some other people, okay. just, just get a, ba just get a backup, but chances are this will, this will come to fruition you're, right now. I think you're playing games. If I, if I don't yeah. get you, oh. I'll see if now you know what I'll it's like to be Drew on the Barrymore show. With him. Uh, could come out. Jamie, basically what Perry's saying is, I was just talking yeah, to Drew yes. Barrymore. A few oh, is she, ago, she's so. potentially, oh, okay. So she's That's got, great. he's got I Drew Barrymore. She would make a great thing. But go. Drew's got her TV show. So she's. Works until she works, and then so do I. Jamie is a huge network star. Yeah, she's a big on Sky weekend. on ABC. She's on Big yeah. Sky uh, every every week. Forgive me for talking over you guys. Okay, Perry, we wouldn't have it any other cast. way. Thank you so much. We we love you. We love uh, all your viewers. We love Tom, and and we will see you on the next uh, appearance on uh, Thank Jam you. Pants. I thank thank you. you, Perry. Thank we love you, Perry. You, buddy. You're electric. I thank, thank you, you again. Remember to come on to the stream at Perry underscore Caravello underscore live. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jamie, I wish you wouldn't lie. I wish you wouldn't lie to that guy. You think I'm sitting on this fucking guy's Twitch or whatever, inviting I'm myself I'm places with him. I would be so afraid to go anywhere with him. Well, uh, look, we've been, threatening you for months that yeah. Perry was going to come back and uh, he did. And it wasn't that bad. Yeah, he actually, he overstays his welcome. You know what I mean? Like I always That's feel like opinion. he's here like 10 minutes longer than he needed to be. That's your opinion. I, I really enjoyed him. When you ask about how much money you would make on these things or doing this, he's probably made, I'm just going to guess $3,000 from just keeping that boat there. Like, you know how much money you would make by doing shit? Like, it would just be... Yeah, but, like, he has, like, energy and tries. Like, I would sit in front of the camera and, like, not want to talk. Like, that's not how I want to use my energy. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You hear you on There's that. There's people that are made for this. He is one of them. I am a not. Absolutely. He is one. Cass, a, a real number. Yeah, uh, we talk about um, OnlyFans and this. How much would you pay to see a reality show where Jamie had to live in Perry's apartment for a weekend? How much would I pay? I, jeez, yeah. I I would pay like a sub a monthly subscription probably of a thousand dollars. No, or more. Uh, but think of me, and then there's like ten thousand of us. I you wouldn't even see the Jamie that like you know. And love. That's that's what that's we That's exactly want. what I'm paying for. <laughs> I don't know why. Jamie, I don't know why you lied lied to the guy straight to his face. He 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 remembers. He you. like zaps energy from me. I can't even explain it. Like, he just like he hurts my brain after a while. That that's I feel rude. like my battery is dead right now. 
Well, we still have half a pod to go, Jamie. Uh, I hope you can muster up some energy. Well, I'm just, I'm sorry. You look a little frazzled. I am. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, too. Yeah, I don't know if you were just fucked or you just like (laughs) had a conversation with Perry. No, I had a conversation with Perry. That's exactly what happened to me. Uh, Jamie, real legit number. Don't say there's no number because you know there is. There is a number. Always a number. A a weekend at Perry's. How much? For For the world to watch? Like an indecent uh, proposal. Yeah, let's do both. If you had to spend a weekend with Perry at his place, he or, can't touch but, me though. Let me tell you something. Jamie. Well, there's a number. I think, I think you would, or I would say you ask for less money if it's on TV because then there's cameramen there, and you're not alone with him. Yeah. If there's no cameraman, but he it's can't just you touch and Perry. me. No, no, no. He's not gonna touch you. I'm not like sleeping in a bed with him. King size. There's one bed. No. Head to toe. No. He had a second no. chair behind him, so you could, I guess, sleep in no. that chair. Not sharing a bed. Okay, fine. Two two twin beds next to each other with just a nightstand <sighs> in between. But he can't touch me. Will not touch you. I mean, maybe like if you're walking out of the door, he'll put his hand on your back or something, but not sexually, no. Two million. Oh. It would be a threesome too, because remember there is that mannequin in there. So that, that guy would be in the room. He can yeah. touch me. You have an inflatable clown. <laughs> Maybe Jamie could sleep in the raft. <laughs> I'll sleep in the boat. You're a good sport, Jamie. Uh, I'm glad we could yeah. get you guys together on the same Zoom. Um, mm-hmm. Seems like he got a little bit of clarity. We got a little bit a of lot, clarity. Hopefully. Yeah. Apparently, that's a true story, Jamie. Like he had land or whatever and was apparently like scammed out of it by his brother. <laughs> and he's like, real angry about it. Oh, Kenny? And now his brother has a stream? Yeah, we're going to have him on the pot. (laughs) We should have him on the pot. No. He doesn't think you're attractive at all, Jamie. Fine, I don't care. That makes makes her want him more. (laughs) That's that's what I'm trying to get him on. Um, We got a chock full of pot. Guys, we also have a couple emails, and we have a dating app to uh, profile. I would love to do the dating app. Do you think that could uh, bring you back out of this sort of slump that you're in right now post perhaps I'm also okay hungry okay. great idea yeah guys every once in a while we'll uh, ask you guys to send us screenshots of your dating app profiles and um we got one this one's from brianna this looks like a is this a hinge uh profile and the first I one you guys so. should pull up is the one with her uh on the bridge or whatever there with the leather pants i think that's the first photo in the group that's the first photo you'd see if you were swiping left or right on her Right. She's standing in front of the New York, like she's across from New York City, possibly. You understand my dry humor, it says. No wonder. Yeah. So we'll get along if you understand my dry humor. Okay. She has got a cute body, Mm -hmm. um, great body, great hair. She is posing in front of a bridge in the water across Manhattan. Like she likes to go out. She's wearing like a lace corset underneath so yeah. she clearly like she's you know she's expressing herself like yeah. she feels Fuck. sexy she likes she's dtf uh yeah does this grab you as a profile photo is this uh i think so i yeah. think that's a great way to intro yourself mm-hmm. i mean it's like it's a little blurry and a little like far but like mm-hmm. enough for you to see like her whole self her personality her energy right would you say let's see if me and Kaz are on the same page as uh the two dudes of the pod. This would not be the one that I would say to use as her cover photo. Cass, which one would you say? Oh, you're and saying you out, of, out, of, I would say. out of the ones that we've seen? Yeah, out of these, which one do you think should be the one? And do you think we'd agree? Yeah, I, I, I do think we would agree. Me too. She looks like a different person in every photo to me. Yeah, that's a problem. It, you must be talking about the photo here with her in the uh, white long sleeve with the boots. Yep. Yeah. 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 With her, she looks amazing. That's the winner. Right. She's in the, um, the she's jeans. She's in a fitted big, outfit. Thigh over high the boots. Knee boots. Yep. Yeah. Drinking some wine at a vineyard. Mm-hmm. Her hair is bright red now. Yeah. Look, she's in a, Brianna, you're an attractive girl. Um, I, here's why. Me and Rob think that photo works better. The, that first photo that you have, it, it says to me, you like to get out. Uh, look at you. You're you're on a walk. You're outside. You've got a fun outfit. You're a little sexy or a provocateur. Um, unfortunately, because it's at night, we just don't have the detail 
in your face. And um, I feel like this photo here, we get a better we get a bit better glimpse of of your body here also in this photo where uh, you're wearing the white long sleeve. And it's a hell of a body, I got to say. Rob, do you what do you think of this body? This is your yeah, type. I, I mean, listen, when I threw it out to you, like, hey, which one would be the that's why. photo? I was 99 percent sure you were going right there. That's why I did it. Uh, yeah, I think there's, it's a no brainer. That's the cover photo. She's got a great uh, that's shape. That's the winner. She looks good. Mm -hmm. The high boots. It's yeah, it's, you know, like to be honest to me, that outfit looks like, damn, th look at this girl's outfit. The other outfit kind of looks like, I don't know. It looks like somebody's like kind of trying, but this is just me. It looks like she's like trying to do something here. The leather pants. The she's court. out on, I, I she's out on the town. I think that's appropriate. Jamie, do you think, by looking at these two photos that this uh, girl has fashion sense. She's got style. I really like, I, I'm most grateful for her, like no makeup close up, like beach picture, because I'm like, oh, there you are. I just feel like the other pictures, there's like filters clearly, or it's a little blurry. Like that one, it's just like her genuine smile, like who you would wake up next to. And That's she's beautiful. That's a great way to put and it, I, yeah. I like that she did that because I was I I was it was inconsistent for me. Yes, I like how she gave us a no makeup look. She's a a, a beautiful gal. Also, really like this caption underneath that photo, which is "We're the yeah. same type of weird." If you put on sock shoe sock shoe instead of sock sock shoe shoe, where do you guys land on that? Sock, sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe oh, for wait. me as well. And unfortunately, then what are you doing none of with us that other sock. It's, it, you know what, what happens is it's too much. Once you put sock, shoe on one foot and the other foot is just bare, you're too it heavy on one side. Feels weird. You'll tip And over. also, what if there's like a fire and alarm goes off and all of a sudden you're running out with a sock and a shoe and a bare foot? Yeah. Your whole equilibrium is thrown off. It's Absolutely. A, I, I, you're going in circles. Sure. She's recognizing, hey, this is something weird. I yeah, do. she did. She's, she's self-aware. Which is great. Yeah, that's the move. Um, I just shout out to all my allergy people. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know you're losing, I don't know what, 10% of dudes who see this right away when they see that dog. Because it's unless if it's your dog, mm. then okay. But if you're just using a photo with a dog, you're, you know, you're losing guys like Rob Eiler when you when you throw up photos mm -hmm. like that. So keep keep that in mind. But I, I also want to say when I think it's great what Jamie said about putting a photo with like no makeup with this because there's nothing wrong with a girl who's whatever, make up a number, a seven or a six or an eight or this. But when you see a girl in photos and she comes off as a 10 and then you meet her and then she's a seven. Yeah. It's just, it's does just that like happen often? Me, very much so. And not only does it feel like it screams oh, insecure. No, insecure and it's also like mm -hmm. oh like what else was kind of fraudulent like, yes like wh what other things what other thing wasn't real about her profile and like like Kasim said the perfect thing it's it's it says to me you're insecure it's a great point you make when you put a photo of yourself in what most people would consider a less quote-unquote attractive photo right less makeup you're not it's not out uh, in the, you know, in some fancy club, you're not holding a drink. This is a photo of just you and how you would wake up. That That is a confident move. And that to me makes you more attractive because you are confident enough in how you yeah. just regularly look as opposed to what Rob is saying here, which is putting out the image of somebody who you're probably not, yeah. especially when we meet you in person. It's a fantastic point. Brianna, you get big points here. You also look a little bit like Alanis Morissette, which is incredible. Yeah. Big crush on Alanis Morissette. Uh, the photo here with the dog, uh, to me, you don't got to worry about me. Not allergic to the dog. Great shot of your hair. Cute dog. The photo above it shows you have a friend, uh, uh, <laughs> a friend with uh, what looks like uh, of an Asian persuasion there. Good on you for, uh, you know, uh, reaching what out uh, across in the across crossing the bound the, the countries. Um, this final photo here. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Was it? Uh -oh. Did I sound like I, I had to restart? Had to reboot my system? It's just like a weird, like, 
Con- before before we carry on to the next thing, back to <laughs> what we were saying. When uh, so my fr- just reminding me this, my friends used to have a, a house, a summer house, and you know sometimes you get there and everyone's already sitting by the pool and it was a bunch of girls and I'd meet these girls and I'd be like, oh wow, this girl's pretty. Or you start talking to some girls, you're like, this girl's really pretty. Oh, this girl's cute. Then it would be time for everyone to like get ready for dinner. And all of a sudden you see a girl come out ready for dinner and you're like, holy shit. Like Mm -hmm. this girl's all dolled up. Wow. Like, and now you're like, I I'm even more turned on by this person where Mm -hmm. if you're doing it the other way, I don't know. I I just think it's better to go the other way of being like, Hey, this is, this is me. This is how I am. And then all of a sudden it's like, you show up. For for the date, look at yeah. your best. That's like holy shit. That's like, under like, promise, over deliver. Yeah, yeah, when I've showed up for a date from these dating apps and seen a girl look better in person, what a, what a treat! Because the truth is, every time you meet someone, you're worried. Like, what if this person doesn't really look like this? What if they're this? What if there's mm. something I couldn't see in the photos? And then mm. when you go, all you're hoping is that they look the same as the photos. When they give yeah. you a better, you're instantly like like be really grateful to to this person you know but also someone could say this is very shallow and i'm just talking about looks you are uh, yeah totally okay well look there's uh any tips that you would give her any way that she could uh improve on her dating profile would no, you i think she was witty i think she was honest yeah. she was funny great i like it i don't know if she has any hobbies according to these photos here oh it- yeah there's, you know, I'd like to know maybe kind of she what you do wine. to unwind. She looks like she like likes to drink and maybe ride a horse. I don't know. Those big boots. I think she's into cheerleading. With well, You see the, the last there's, photo? There's this last photo here. If I was going to say, if I was going to get How's rid of Halloween one photo, costume? I might get rid of this photo because Same. the hair is nice. You have nice big yeah. eyes. You're, you're, you're making a face that kind of looks like um, apathetic, you know, or, or you're, you're, you're looking down on me. If I just took my pants off and you were making this face, I'd I'd be incredibly insecure and feel bad. Mm, mm. Uh, the only way she should leave this photo is if under it she writes the face I make when you take your pants off. Ooh. Right, that would that would be funny. That would be funny, and maybe you. Yeah. Well, no, maybe you not put that in there. For us, that's funny. I don't know if you're gonna attract a man. Oh, I heard she just said if you get my pants. dry sense of humor. Yeah, that's part of it. And then, like you said. She's got red hair in here. She's got dark hair in here. She's got the blonde curls in here. She's all over the shop. Do you think it's better to give a taste of everything or do you think it's better to go, hey, here's what I look like now? Yeah, I think we need to know where she's at now. Like a headshot, right, Jamie? The casting director wants to know. Boy, that's good conversation. What color hair are you working with these days? What's your favorite color? Also, yeah, it's nice to know, like, oh, I'm dating her. She might, if I don't like this, maybe she'll show up like this one day. That's Mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah, so that's strange. I think there's good. Oh, oh that gets some strange. <laughs> what a disappoint, I think there's disappointment good you've been today. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You haven't disappointed me one bit, Amy Lee. Because I'm not it. eating during the pod. <laughs> no, you just, I mean, you lied to our, our friend Perry and uh, you just use uh, the word strange. Every time he comes on, it just causes like tension and strife between us. Let's so we just not bring him on anymore. <laughs> I can't. We should, I can't agree to that. I'm sorry. We should. We should put together. Uh, there were so many pajama pants <laughs> fans that were standing beside me in the Perry there, Calvillo. He's argument. very divisive or divisive. Any way you want to say it, he does. <laughs> he does create uh, sides. Divide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I. I think I would love it if Gabby could put together like a Instagram clip of either Jamie yawning on the show or fall <laughs> actually falling asleep on the show. Which is which is great. <laughs> you know what I was actually thinking about today was one time when we were recording and I was in for, I was in New York and I was in my closet. And do you remember when I was just like making some weird face and I got stuck in it for a minute when I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Brianna, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You have a great dating profile. We got to score it like we always do, boys and girls. Uh, I'm going to give Brianna an eight out of ten. Me too. I think you represent yourself wonderfully. Would love to see a hobby in there. Um, otherwise, you know, you're an attractive gal and I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Mr. Right. I think if she gets rid of that last photo, it's an eight. But with that one, for me, it's a seven. That took her down a whole point, huh? Wow. Yeah. He's again, cut like, 
like Jamie said, it's it's like, I don't know. I don't know why that's there. It's like kind of blurry. It's like, like you said, she's making like a face. It's like I don't. It, mm-hmm. it throws me off mm-hmm. a little. And again, it's kind of like, mm-hmm. yeah. And and she really should that that white that white shirt, jean, high boot. That and I mean, it says she's from Jersey. That's like a yeah. Jersey girl. You walk into a fucking vineyard in Jersey. You see that? It's like give me a, send me. You the hitting check. up Brianna Rob? No. <laughs> Rob's she's she's she might have a dog. Oh yeah. Yeah, you lost I'll Rob at the her. dog. Yeah, That's I might advice. be dating someone too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our uh, one dating profile. I have an email. I have a couple emails here. Uh unless you guys want to do uh do anything you wanted to add. Any sharpie questions. I got, I got, I, Perry was coming. I got nothing here. I'm in a hotel bed. I got no. What part of the nothing. world are you in, Carmen San Diego? I'm in Miami. I think the next pod will mm. be me in Maine. Wow. And then the next pod after that will be me in New York. It's wow. Just, Jet gonna, set, Robbie. Um, yeah, it's going to be some special trip. And then, and then two pods from now, you'll know how my best friend's wedding went. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. Shout out, Rex. And, Shout out to Rex. I'm excited. He just sent out the thing that's like, oh, here's the itinerary. And he put that uh, at the rehearsal dinner. It's going to be an open mic for anyone to speak and Fine. say whatever they want. And there's some friends that we have that I'm really excited to hear <laughs> hear them speak. Like awesome. excited because it's it'll be so bad it's good or... It's a total wild card. You know, it's like right. Perry. You don't know what you're getting. You know, he's, he's coming on and I just, I don't know. Also, Rex's dad is just, I love... Rex's dad. I love hearing him talk. And uh yeah, Rex's sister. Like they're just they're like no bullshit people who I've known for thirty something years. And I just can't wait to hear them on like this special day. And you know, it's it's I'm looking forward to it. Great. Fantastic. I uh well, well can you tell me about Miami. Is it are you in the part of Miami where it's nothing but butts? Are you right near a beach and there's just like hot land women like everywhere? Lots of thongs. I'm two blocks from the beach. It's amazing. It's like, it's, it's hard to not want to be healthy here. Like we had an hour before the pod where normally I'd be like, Oh, I just sit around. And I like went for a walk on the beach for 30 minutes and like just sat on the sand. I'm like, I'm so grateful to like, yeah, Miami's awesome that way. Yeah. And you just see people who are like laughing and it's like, when, like right now it's a Wednesday and when you're like uh, walking down the beach on a Wednesday and people are just sitting there chilling in the water and laughing and there's like dogs running around and people are listening. To, there was a bunch of kids with like guitars playing music and like I walk by and they're like, you want a beer? Like, you know, and you're just like, no, nah, I'm good. Like pe- people are just having a good time, you know, just coming from LA where like you're walking down the street and it's like, Ugh, like, yeah, you know, there's, there's, I gotta say, LA has a lot of like spots to go to, but you don't just walk outside and find a vibe. Yeah. You got to go find it. Miami has like a vacation vibe to it. There's, there's a lot. And there's a lot of just like what feels like happier people. Cause it's like, you're a block from the beach. You're this, you're that. There's not a, I don't know. There's like beautiful palm trees and there's the, the sunset tonight was just like gorgeous. And you're like, wow, it feels special and like different. Yeah, it's it's really great. And then we took a uh, Uber down to like a uh, national park down here or whatever, where it's like it's like I think it's like Key Biscayne or like some shit. And like you're walking mm-hmm. around, and there was like beautiful beaches and like beautiful things to see. And then we saw like people started screaming. These people were having like a picnic, and they started screaming, looking up, and there was like a rat in the trees being <laughs> chased by a snake. And like we sat around like watching that, and just like. I don't know. There's stuff that like, you know, I'm from New York city and went to LA and then I was in Vegas for a while. There's like zero nature, you know? And then when wait till you get to Austin, lots of wildlife here. What's the, can you tell us what you've seen recently? Anything? I told you about, we had a family of foxes living in our roof. No, but they're gone. Yeah. Like one time we were driving away and we saw all of them, like the mommy and the little babies walking on our roof. They were um, on the roof? Yeah, living like in like a lived- little thing above our garage, but they're gone now. She had her babies there, and now they left. Um, oh. We have deer all over, possums. Snakes. How hot is it we right now? 105 today. Oof. Oof, girl. You know. How are the boys doing? 
Good. Bo started school. He got the mean teacher. Did I tell you? No. Oh. Yeah, he got. Maybe like he needs the, that. For sure. By the way, I was like stoked when I found out. He was so <laughs> upset. But he said so far, first two days, she's been super nice. Like that's his report. She's so nice. Grace is in his class again. Oh, oh. Wow. and are but they, listen to how I are found they broken out. up so or? That's what I said. I was like, hey, Bo, like, how was school today? Who was in your class? How was it? And he was like, it was it was great, Mom. Miss Miss whatever was so nice. Um, and, you know, and like Grace is in my class again. What? And I was like, what? OK. I was like, OK, uh, so are you guys like back together? And he's like, no, no, no. I'm like, oh, well, like, have you talked? He's like, yeah, we talk. And I was like, what do you guys talk about? And he's like, who our crushes are. Oh, boy. Like, oh, so who are your guys' crushes? And he's like, well, I couldn't hear who hers were. She was talking with Lola. And I was like, well, you just said that's what you guys all talk about. He's like, yeah, well, well she just, you know, I, I couldn't hear what they were saying. They, they just, I think they literally just talk about vibes with each other. They just call it crushes. And, like, it's so funny to me that at that age, like, they all feel like they need to single out a specific person that they're vibing with. Mm -hmm. They all do it. All of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if you're like, what do you guys talk about? And he was like, the old times. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Pre 9-11. But uh, uh, he, I told you he made a travel baseball team. Oh, good for him. Wow. He tried out and he made it. Um, the outlaws. Ooh, and it's cool like name. all he's wanted. Sounds like he, he learned, named them. Since he learned. Yeah. <laughs> Since he learned about the outlaws last year, it's all he's ever wanted to do, and he made it. And when he found out he made it, he cried. Good for him. Still he in touch so with those happy. feelings. So no wonder, easily no accessible. No wonder Grace left him. Yeah. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. Come he, on. Like, he, like, he got it together quickly, but I could feel him like overcome with emotion. It was really sweet. That's so nice. Guys, That's I have uh, breaking news. He what? You got a text? I got a text. Did Cutter from, text you to send me Tom. upstairs? <laughs> no. Oh, God. Yeah, I know this By is By the way, when you, said, when you said Tom earlier today, Rob, I thought you meant Segura. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tom Brennan. He says, okay. this is something that uh, Perry DM'd or texted him. So this is a, a text from Perry to Tom. It says, Tom, Jamie Lynn Sigler was <laughs> playing games. Because if she is really checking out my fucking brother, Kenny underscore Caravello underscore live, like he's an entertainer, then I am done with Jamie. I Kenny never starred in one I, movie or did background in over 100 film, TV shows or commercials like I did. I need to talk to her privately. I about going to my high school class reunion party, party emoji, and no more Kenny Caravello live on YouTube.com. Wow. Jamie, when when Ridiculous. you were when you were talking to Perry at one point, I texted Casim on the side and I said, How great would it be if me and you just left right now? <laughs> and it was just you and Perry on the pod. Oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. Oh, you guys have such a rapport. You guys need to figure that. Jamie, you guys need to figure that out. Okay. You need to figure it How out. How okay, Jamie, I know like the two million dollars to stay in his place, like that's all pipe dreams. How much would somebody have to pay you in reality to do a podcast once a week, hour long, with just you and Perry? Oh my god, that's so draining. Maybe you'll grow to love them. Like it's a like year? Beauty. It's like Beauty and the Beast. You did Beauty. How and much the Beast. a year? Just pretend like you're acting on Broadway. Two hundred and fifty grand a year. We might be we, we might be able to talk to some people. That's right. I think it's doable. What? That's about five grand an episode. A little less. We might be able to just like might, nothing's off the table, Jamie. Money talks, okay? Do I have to talk? It it might be better if you don't have time because <laughs> he. I wonder how he'd react to that. I know he's used to women not talking to him. Exactly. <laughs> Once he finds out that you and Kenny are kind of chatting, he's gonna fucking lose his mind. Oh my god! I we gotta we gotta be in on this drama. We have to like uh, Photoshop a photo of you and his brother together somewhere. We don't oh, need yeah. to Photoshop it. There, it exists. And we need to Have put it on some, like what? We, it we have to, what are you we have to put it on like a fake TMZ.com, you know, and be yeah. like famous yeah. YouTuber and Sopranos actress seen at Spago yes. where he said he would take you. Oh, do it. Somebody get on this. <clears throat> this is an email from Cheryl Trowbridge. <laughs> 
Cheryl Tell says me. to Jamie, dear Jamie, oh. thank you for getting real, really real. Those moments you talked about of your processing of grief around MS. That is podcast gold. I've grieved my disability and more recently the death of my mother. Oh. I don't feel our Why society. Are you reading it like that? I don't, I didn't know it was going to, I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I didn't know it was going to go there. So I apologize. Okay. Cheryl. I this is how me and Catherine handle grief. This, this is, is how we handle yeah, grief. Exactly. I'm sorry, Cheryl. This I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral, you know, <laughs> I've grieved my disability and more recently the death of my mother. I don't feel our society prepares us in any way for this process. I incorporate Eastern philosophy and principles into my life, but would like to learn much, much more. It's the missing piece, the wisdom that connects us to our very humanity. I'd love to hear more about your thoughts on the subject whenever you feel moved to open up. And I just wanted to know you to know that I loved it. Heart, Aww. Cheryl. Thank you, thank Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Well, you know, thank you for allowing me to get like vulnerable about this. I know this is like not always like the best podcast content, but it's also like a very safe place for me. And I feel like mm -hmm. you guys obviously in particular, but like our listeners have been through like this ride with me for the past three years and it's had a lot of ups and downs and it, that's only three of like the 20 plus that I've had it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a pl uh Oh, dad's here. Oh shit! Wow, he, did he? Is that a ghost? Here. <laughs> Does he know about Perry? Hey, cut. That's There's our, our boy. boy. <laughs> There's our boy. Say hi to the pod. Are we cut. live? Yeah, we are, baby. Good to see you. Love you. Oh shit! Oh, we We're miss live. you, buddy. Say hi Come to on. the. There's actually a, an Instagram message that people um, were, were asking if you would come on the pod, Cut. So mm -hmm. here's your chance. Say Still hi. waiting for the invite, you know? <laughs> Say something scandalous, Cutter. I'm way too boring these days. To... <laughs> Where are you at, You dude? smell like Captain Crunch. I just had uh, Panda Pops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, tell him I'm in Miami. He's in Miami right now. The Rob. bed looks like Miami for sure. <laughs> That's the biggest headboard I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a very large headboard. Velcro up there. All right, wait for, <laughs> wait for me. I'm almost done. All right, Cheryl, thank you for the email. I want yes, to thank Cheryl, Perry. thank you. I, think I want that to thank was really Perry. Kind. No. I want to thank I don't want, Kenny. I don't want to talk about him anymore. You're right. That's fine. We're done. And thank you. Thank you for always being vulnerable on the pod, Jamie, when you get oh. there. It's very uh, sweet, and we love it. It's always very sincere. It is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I would never want to overshare, but... Again, you guys are a safe place for me to do that and help me process things and talk about things. And sometimes you feel like when you have something that you come to weekly and you can even just replay back for months or years that we've been doing this, like, you know, they're little benchmarks and you can see your growth and you can see where you are with things. And so that's like the beauty of having long relationships and long standing things like this, because you're really able to have like perspective about yourself. And I think it's really cool that people that have been listening to us from the beginning that have like joined us along for this ride have seen like all our growth. Well said. Thanks. Thanks, Amen. Jamie. Robert, enjoy Love the you. rest of Miami. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. That way you know when our videos go live every Tuesday morning. Follow us Jeez. on Instagram. We're on, we got a subreddit, our slash pajama fans podcast. We're on TikTok. Jamie and I are on Twitter and Instagram. Rob's off the grid. Do not try and contact him. And until next Leave week. Leave him alone. I've been Cassim. Thanks again, Perry, for showing up. <sighs> we love Bye. you, buddy. We'll see you next week.